All right, with Gannon Burr leaving Prodigy Discs, at least that's what we think is going to happen in this offseason, Gannon Burr has liquidated basically his entire disc golf collection. All of his Prodigy Discs have been sold to, on the collector's pages. I reached out to Gannon, and he sent me a mystery box. I should have unboxed it on video, but I was too excited, so I opened it up immediately when I got it. But today I'll be playing with a Glow PA1 Preserve Stamp, um, Bar Stamp D2. We've got a really cool Katrina Allen F3. This seems pretty old and OG. Very cool disc. Um, we've got an old Domi um, Bar Stamp M4 and an X Out D3. So appreciate it, Gannon, for sending me out the mystery box. And these are what we'll be playing with in today's video. And I guess we'll throw this sweet F3 first. I've never thrown an F3. Hopefully, hopefully she's stable. Two off one. <laughs> hopefully it's D2 is stable. F3 not stable. D2 be stable. Oh, that one's beef. That's a putt. Let's do it. All right. Hole two, 620 foot par four. Um, we'll test out the D3 and the D2. D2 there was pretty stable. Let's see if we just put a hyzer out there with that. Definitely pretty stable D2. Uh, we got the D3 here. Hopefully we get a little more, a little more pop on it. Oh, threw it hard. Oh, it's, that's stable too. Wow, that'll play. I like that D3. All right, we'll also give this F3 another throw. This is an old school Katrina Allen signature. Oh, oh okay. That flies kind of similar to like an eagle. Flies relatively straight with a good stable finish. All right, we'll go uh, Katrina Allen F3, and we'll test out the M4. This bar stamp M4 looks like it's going to be a little more stable than I'm used to from M4s. Oh, I think that's ideal. The F3 is really nice. We got M4. Super domey uh, M4. I've only really thrown flat ones. Yeah, that's a beefy boy. Goes for days though. Both good discs. Good disaster early on in the round. Lost the D3, my best disc. So now we've just got an F3, M4, D2, PA1. Unfortunately, the D D3 was my favorite disc, but life goes on. All right, with all the leaves, you can't tell, but this is a very deadly water shot. I've already lost the D3. If I lose the M4, I'm gonna be officially devastated. Get beefy. <laughs> it's safe. We're not throwing a second on this one. <laughs> Let's see what Grant can do. What do you got? A hex? Uh oh. Get through. This is the most important shot of the round. Hole six tunnel shot. Hopefully the M4 can go straight enough. Oh, that was fading to perfection. This F3 seems to fly pretty much the same as that M4, just a bit longer, I think. Same tree, see? It's literally the same disc, just faster. <laughs> All right, I guess this, uh, maybe this belonged to Big, Big Germ at some point. I don't know, it's got the Big Germ bottom stamp. Maybe that's the thing. F3. Um, that's absolutely parked. All right, this PA1 is so like chunky. It doesn't have, I think you could call this a bead, but I don't think it's a bead. It's, it's way bigger than a bead would be. It almost has like a stego bottom and it's like wildly overstable. This thing is, 
super beef. So much Anheuser, it just wants to come out basically right away. Maybe it's more like a Zono S. It's maybe not much like a Stego. Maybe it's just like a Zono S. The bottom is just so chunky. Definitely seems similar to a Zono S to me. Stable M4. Give it height. There he is. Oh, better line. All right, we haven't putted once yet today. I don't really want to putt with this PA1. It's so ridiculously stable, but I guess we'll try at least one putt. It's so beefy, way too beefy to putt with. All right, I would like to execute the Gannon line at least one time. So PA1 super flex. Whoa! <laughs> Circle's edge. <laughs> this hole plays a lot better for an understable disc, but we'll try the F F3 here. Just gotta put on some Annie. Um, not mad about that. It's pretty good. All right, F3, Big Germ style. Was this Big Germ's disc? Big Germ? Comment below. That's the best shot of all time. It's a good disc. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, that's definitely in the circle. It'll play. Hundred and seven. There it is. That felt much better. Oh, dude, that thing is so stable. Gannon. Again, I thought I had a big arm. He sent me all these stable discs. <laughs> Sorry to disappoint, bud. Grant actually has arm speed, so he's going to try out the Gannon Burr D2. See? That's that's beef, yeah. That's a Beefosaurus Rex. Good gravy. Grant throws real hard, and it still went real left. Well, all right, guys, that is the Gannon Burr mystery box round. We're going to end it here. 18's basket is just over there. Um, we're going to end it here. I lost the D3, which is probably the best disc for me in the bunch. Um, next up, I think this F3 is really cool. It's got Big Germ stamp, two Prodigy player signatures, Katrina Allen signature series. She hasn't played for Prodigy in a while now. So pretty cool collector's item here. This Glow PA1 is basically a Zone OS, super beef, really fun disc. I'll definitely mess around with this more as an upshot and approach disc. Domi M4, I don't love how it's, it's so torque resistant for me backhand, but when I was forehanding it, I, I, this thing was just turning over so much. I definitely don't, don't like the Domi M4, not a good run of M4. I like the flat kind of flippy M4s, a little more consistent little more torque resistant as well. They're like more flippy and more torque resistant when they're flat for some reason. And then yeah, 400 G D2, this is way too much <laughs> over stability for my arm speed. Even with the forehand, threw it like slight ante, it was just fading right out right away. But I really appreciate the care package from Ganon Burr. It's fun to play 18 holes with the Ganon Burr mystery box. And yeah, it's cool to have some collector's items that I assume must have been in Ganon's bag at some point in time. But anyway, you guys are watching Iceberg TV. I'll see you in the next one and take care.